ADF, CRF, SOF, SOTF. What's the difference? In this video, I break down the counterterrorism units of the Singapore Army and their roles. The Army Deployment Force, or the ADF, is a rapid deployment force made up of about 600 military regulars. Based in Nisun Camp, the ADF falls under the command of Singapore Guards Formation. Their primary responsibilities are homeland security and counterterrorism. Other responsibilities include humanitarian assistance and disaster relief and peace support operations. ADF troopers were deployed to Iraq to provide security for SAF medical and intelligence teams assisting coalition forces in the fight against ISIS. To join the ADF, trainees will need to complete the Combat Qualification course, a five-month course that includes weapon proficiency training, unarmed combat training, conventional warfare training, urban operations training, Roping and repelling, counterterrorism training, peace support and HADR training, and a ton of physical training. The Singapore Armed Forces Commando Formation consists of one active battalion and several reserve battalions. Based in Hendon Camp, their role is to conduct raids and reconnaissance behind enemy lines via airborne and amphibious insertions. There are two different types of commandos. The commando conscripts who serve two years in the active battalion before moving on to the reservist battalion and commando regulars better known as CRF. All commando trainees go through a two-month basic military training at the Commando Training Institute, Gimba Series Camp. Their BMT is largely similar to the BMT conducted at BMTC in Pulau Tekong. Thereafter, trainees proceed to vocational training. Depending on their roles, trainees undergo different training at respective camps. Commando leaders attend a two-month commando small unit leaders course, while weapon specialists learn to handle a variety of weapons, both at Pasir Ris camp. Medics and demolition experts attend a combat medic course and demolition specialist course respectively at Nisun camp. Signalers will attend the combat signal course at Stegman Camp. All trainees also have to pass the basic airborne course before proceeding to commando company training at Hendon Camp and jungle warfare training in Brunei. Upon completion of the 9-month long training, trainees will need to complete the X-72, consisting of a 35km route march followed by a raid mission and another 35km route march within 72 hours before receiving their raid beret. Commando regulars will go on for advanced training such as the SAF Ranger course. The Special Operations Force or SOF is a unit within the commando formation, comprised of only military regulars. Apart from their commando duties, the SOF have an added list of responsibilities. To join the SOF, applicants must first pass a two-week Joint Special Forces selection encompassing various physical and mental challenges such as running long distances with a 6kg load and swimming with combat load. Qualified candidates then attend the 8-month long Special Forces Qualification course at the Special Operations Tactics Center. Candidates undergo a variety of training courses Performing candidates also travel overseas to attend foreign courses such as the U.S. Army Ranger School and the U.S. Navy BATS. It takes about four years of training to become a full-fledged SOF member. The Special Operations Task Force is a joint task force comprising of soldiers from the Army's SOF and CRF and the Navy's Special Warfare Group from the Naval Diving Unit. They are supported by the ADF and other units. 
In the event of a terror attack, the ADF arriving on scene would first set up a perimeter around the incident site. They will secure escaping hostages and conduct intelligence gathering in two-man teams, such as how many terrorists and what weapons they are using. Using this information, as well as those gathered by intelligence units, the SOTF will move in to eliminate the threats. You may be wondering, do Singapore really need so many counter-terrorism units? The 2021 Terrorism Threat Assessment Report showed that terrorism threat remains high.